Just want to welcome everybody to our shir, the Siva Shalom shir, for the last days of uh, Sukkot, Shmini Atzeres, Simchas Torah. It's amazing how fast the Yontif goes by. And uh, like we always say, we want to make sure not to miss out on the tremendous inspirations and things that we could take out of the Yom Tif. It's been a gorgeous, gorgeous Yom Tif here. It's been summer, summer-like weather. I mean, the couple of weeks before Sukkot, we were all worried. We were being uh, flooded by like monsoons here on the East Coast in Lakewood, New Jersey. But it's been unusually gorgeous. And Shataka B, um, be a simon for the rest of the year. Things should be beautiful and comfortable and good for everybody. Just want to get a little message from the Nesiva Shalom about taking the Yom Tif with you. Um, an important message and one that really we should internalize and keep with us throughout the year. The Pasuk in Tehillim, Lamed Beis, says, Al Zois Yispalel Kol chosid elecha le'es mitzay. Many of you are familiar with the Pasuk, those who say Tehillim, read Tehillim. The Torah of he says a very, very interesting thing. Al zois yispalel kol chosid. Every chosid, righteous person, should be mispalel le'es mitzay. The Torah of us tells us that le'es mitzay is referring to to the times of Moitzoi, that a person should be mispalel for something, and we'll explain what it is, le'es mitzoi, during the times that are Moitzoi, Moitzoi Yom Tif, Moitzoi Shabbos, the times where we are leaving are periods of Kedusha. And we need to daven, says the Torah Savage, we need to daven what are we being mispalo for, right? We, we need to daven and we need to hope that we remain holding on to the inspiration and the growth that we have attained over that special period, over that special time. And in our case, over this special Yom Tif. And that's why we have to mamash be mispalo, that we should be able to hold on to those times. The Zoyar... In Chela Gimel, Kuf Ayin Gimel says something very interesting. He says that when your Neshama Yisera goes back after Shabbos, we all know we get a, we, every, every Yid gets a Neshama Yisera. If you tune in, you could feel it, right? You have your Neshama Yisera. When it goes back after Shabbos, the Neshama is asked in Shamayim, what Chiddush do you have? What do you gain? What have you attained when you went down, down to the, to, uh, into the person, you went down to Olam Azeh, and then it comes back, and Shami Yisera, what did you gain? What do you have more <clears throat> that you didn't have before? What are you bringing back from your trip to Olam Azeh? And the Svar Makdoshim tell us that if a Yid is Mechabel something, you Mechabel some Mida, some improvement, for yourself, that alone is a good enough answer and a chiddush for your neshama yisera to answer. It comes a Shabbos, it comes a Yom Tif, where you feel the kedusha, and you're inspired by it, and you're makabel something, you grow in some way. That's enough for your neshama yisera to answer the question: What chiddush do you have? So every one of us really has to think now that we are, we're at the culmination of not just the Yom Tev of Sukkot and coming to Shemini Atzeret, Hishan Arabah, Shemini Atzeret, Simchas Torah, we need to think and we need to realize that we're actually at the culmination of the entire month of Elul, the Yom Noroyim, Sukkot, Shemini Atzeret, the whole past almost two months. And we really certainly need to introspect from that whole long period and be mispalel, that we shall walk away with the light of this of these Yom and Toivim, with the light of these special times. It's been so it has been so many days and so many different t- 
types of Yom Toivim. There's a Rosh Hashanah, and there's a Yom Kippur, and there's a Sukkot, and there's a Simchas Torah. There's a whole, uh, the, we run the whole gamut of different types of Yom Toivim, and we have to be mispelled that we have to walk away with the light. We have to be changed. We have to have grown from the Yom Toivim. We have to have been inspired, enough inspiration that it could carry us through the rest of the year. And the Sivah Shalom elaborates with a beautiful and a deep thought. And he explains how we have to look at this Le'es Mitzoy, the times of going away from Kedusha. And he says like this, he says, think about a person, uh, imagine a person did something against the king, right? In the olden times, if you stepped over the line, he did something with the king, so basically you were lucky that, right, if you were put in jail. So now, this person is going to be subject, if you transgress the a law of the king, you're going to be subject to being incarcerated, right, in the king's jail. So really, there's different types of, 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 of being incarcerated, being put away. The king wants you out, right? So one type of jail would be a place where there's not even enough room to walk around. You're in a small room, you're locked up, and you can't walk around. Another type of jail, if the king is feeling a little more gracious, he'll have a bit of a larger room, but there's still no way out, but you have a larger room, you have a place to walk out. And if the king is really not that upset with you at all, then a step up would be, he gives you a whole house, but the outside door of the house is still locked. So some, and, 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 and really, if you didn't break a big law at all, so you might even have a bigger courtyard, but there's one common factor and one common denominator here um, in, in all the different types of places where you could be locked up. There's a small room, there's a house, there's a bigger room, there's a, a little bit of a courtyard, a place to walk around. The common den- denominator, though, is that you do not have the power to leave. It might be a little more comfortable one place more than the other, but you don't have the opportunity to pick yourself up and go home. The opportunity to leave. Says in the Siva Shalom, let's translate that to Ruchnius. Translate that to a lesson that we have to learn, because it does translate also to the Ruchnius in your lives. Dovar HaMelech asks in Tehillim, Kuf Membeiz, right? Hoitzia mi masger nafshi. David HaMelech is asking to be released from right, the shackles of life. And we all want to be, every one of us wants to be close to, and every one of us wants to love Hashem. Yet, we have these shackles, we have these constraints in life that tie us up. And some of these constraints are, are stronger than others, and just as that person who can't get out of a closet, can't get out of a room, can't get out of a house, can't that, some people are constrained because they don't have control of their thoughts. Others are constrained, they don't have control of their heart. They don't have control <coughs> of their desires. And some people have no control over anything in their lives. It's like your mom is locked up. You don't have control. You are not in control of yourself. And like we said, in physically, so too, spiritually. Some people have a little bit control of the things that they do. Less control, and some people have no control at all. So Dovr Melech is asking, Let me be in control of what I do. Let me be in control of my Yetzirah. Let me be in control of those that are around me, those that are influencing me in ways that I really shouldn't be influenced. Let me be in control. And really, so much so, during the weekdays, we have so many constraints and really excuses, many very good. We have constraints of parnasa, of bringing up children and more. But when it comes to Shabbos and Yom Tif, we release ourselves, and you, or you should be releasing yourself from your constraints, from your shackles. We say, Ona Hashem, we say in the Halal every day, right, this week, 
עונה השם כי אני עבדך, אני עבדך בן עמוסך, פיתחת למוי סיירוי. Free me, open me up. Why? Because I am עבדך בן עמוסך. זאת הנשיא ושלום. Why are we saying עבדך בן עמוסך? Because if someone is just an evid from yesterday, he wants to get out, he wants to go home. We have to lock him up. We have to make sure he doesn't go anywhere. However, if we're telling HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Avdecha Ben Amosecha, I'm here, my parents were here, we, I want to serve you, Hashem. My parents, my grandparents, my great-grandparents, we all wanted to. Ani Avdecha Ben Amosecha. I'm an Eved, the son of an Amma. I'm an Eved, I, 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 I'm, I'm not looking to go anywhere. I've been here my whole life and I've been here for generations. Pitach Telemaiseira. You could open up my shackles. You could let me go because I'm not going to run away. I just want to be free to serve Hashem. I just want to be free to do the things that Hashem wants. You could release my constraints. So after Yontav of Sukkot, we come to Shmini Atzeres, and we certainly, we are certainly, by the time we get to Shmini Atzeres, we, we can say, uh, we are Avdecha Ben Amasecha. We've been here, Elol, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, Cholomoy Sukkot, Hashanah Rabbah, We've done, we've been here the whole, we're not looking to go anywhere. You see, Hashem, we're not running away. We keep trying to serve you. I live, I want to live in the house of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. We want to stay here. We don't want to run. And this is what we daven for on this Le'es Mitzoy. This is what we want. This is what we daven for, that when it comes to Mitzoy Yom Tif, when it comes to Moitzoy, Shmini Atzeres, Simchas Torah, and Eretz Yisrael, when it comes to the, our separate days, two days of Yontav here in Golis, and hopefully it's the last Yontav in Golis, when we come to this, we're mispalel that this Le'es Mitzoy, when we go back, we go back to, uh, to our mundane schedule, we don't want to call it always the rat race, but when we go back to the Yemois Hachal, we're asking Hashem to keep us free, Keep us free like we were the past few weeks. Free where our minds are open to tshuva, to serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to being in the sukkah, to being besimcha. You know what it is for a person to be besimcha, to come to the sukkah and realize that all the physical luxuries and everything, we put that all aside and we're so much happier. This is what real happiness is. Le'es mitzoy, when we come out of the yontif, we say to Hashem, we want to stay that happy. We want to feel happy inside most of all, but we also want to feel happy inside, outside. We want to be, we want to be able to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu the whole year, the way we served HaKadosh Baruch Hu this whole Yom Tov. So Al-Zois is Palel called Chassid Le'es Mitzoy, when it comes to this Matzi Yom Tov. Now, start thinking about it now. What are you going to lock up? What's your Neshama Yaseira going to answer when they say, what are, you bringing me, what are you bringing me back? How are you different? Are you learning a little more? Are you a little bit of a nicer person? Are you going to do a little more chesed? Are you going to talk less Lashon Hara? Are you going to be done people? These are all things that make a person really happy. It doesn't make you happy to talk about other people. It doesn't make you happy to waste your time. We all know that. It frustrates every one of us. Now it came to Yontif. And we attained all those levels. We attained all those goals. Let's be mispalel. And let's also do. Let's lock it up. Let's take this with us. That should take a be a year of growing in Ruchnius. A year of growing for every one of us. For you. For your families. For all of us. That we should take, a take the inspiration through the whole winter. It should be a gesunter winter for everybody. And everybody should be zoiche when you are mispalo, that your tefillahs should be answered and we should all be able to answer every one of our neshama yisera should be able to answer and say yes we gain so much we're different people i want to wish you all a good yom tif, and amir tzashem will be back with our nesiva shalom shir beginning parshat barashas next week a good yom tif, a good yom.